Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi estate as a donor car like this one. And on this episode, now that the carpet and the headliner has been removed, I'm now going to remove the ECUs and the wiring loom that was underneath the carpet. Quite a lot of wiring in this donor car and I know for a lot of people out there when they're building their own DIY supercar or kit car the wiring can be a little bit worrying and I can understand why but if you take your time use a labeler document everything it shouldn't be too bad so where are we going to begin with the strip down of this wiring loom I think I'll start with this box now I wasn't expecting this, this one here yes, this one no. So I'll bring the camera in and we'll take a look at this one and we'll start removing the loom from this area. This box was found underneath the carpet which was underneath the passenger seat. There's a couple of clips at the back and it should just lift off. There's some hinges here, oh dear. And Okay. Nice, I just have a series of connectors and here's the part number. VDO something, 12 volts. I think that box has something to do with the um, clocks and gauges, um, but I'll have to check that Audi part number to be sure. Anyway, with the box removed, I'm going to continue removing this wiring loom, and we're going to start by undoing all these plastic clips. And I'm going to take my time, I'm going to try not to break them, because I'm hoping I can reuse these clips where possible on the turbo build. Now that I've undone the clips, I've got a bit of slack so I can pull the loom out away from the bodywork and start tracing back where some of this cabling goes. Now it can, it can get a little tricky here because some of the wiring goes over there, some goes up here, some goes down there and all the rest of it and they all end up in the same plug for some unknown reason. So I'll bring the camera in and I'll try and show you what I mean. So here's a cluster of connectors. Now if we see this one here, this brown one, and we trace the back of it, we'll find two sets of leads. Now this lead here goes into this main loom, which follows the loom down to the rear of the car. However, this blue lead does not it actually goes across 
where the dashboard used to be and it goes over somewhere into where the centre console used to be. So again I'll try and show you, I'll bring the camera in. So here's this brown connector again. This is this loom that runs to the rear of the car and then you've got this blue and grey twisted cable that runs across underneath where the carpet used to be. It goes up, oh, it's taped there. It goes somewhere in here. And it looks like we'll have to undo all this to find out where that blue cable goes. Pull back this tape. Right, well, this goes deep into this loop. So let's take another look at this brown connector. So if we take a look at this brown connector, it looks like that it's actually two separate connectors. So we'll pull this out of the framework and um, see if it separates. And yes, the connector separates. So it's actually two separate connectors that clip together and become one. So I'm just going to label these two up so I don't forget where these two go. Right, got my labeler. I'm just going to label those two up. You can see how uh, this sort of job takes so long. It's a bit long winded. You've got to, you've got to follow every wire, every bit of loom, follow it to the connector, see if the connector is a two piece one, label it up, goes on and on and on, but take your time. Right, with this blue connector removed, get it out of the way, we can take a look and realise that there's only three connectors here that go off in a different direction from the rest of the loom. So if we pull these three out, which is the red one, I think that's a pink one, and the brown one, then this cluster should now be separate and just part of this loom. Now the connectors are removed from that bracket, I can poke them through the firewall here and remove them. Oh, and another one. Right, there's a loom here, a little small black cable which goes all the way across there. All right, all right, let's trace that one then. Okay, I'm on the other side of the car now, and it's this black loom here, which seems to go 
outside the car through the bulkhead on that side of the car and come all the way across here and it's inside here somewhere. So I'm going to have to undo the bolts, drop this down a little bit, find out where this one goes. Right. Oh dear. What have we got? It looks like this black lead here goes to this fuse here, which just unclips. Okay, back to this side of the car. Right. There's that. And I think this should be able to be poked through. <laughs> Push through the bulkhead. Well, before I can pull that loom through the bulkhead, I have to disconnect this here. And this is the water line for the rear wash wipe on the rear hatch. It should just pull apart. There we go. Now we can push these plugs through the bulkhead which goes to this which is the uh, door loom. This corner is almost done. We've just got this box here, a couple of connectors here where I don't know where they go, and this. 
Looks like it goes into the, uh, well, through the firewall and into the engine bay, but underneath sort of uh, this area. So I'm hoping this can be unplugged. Let's start with this. Now that looks a pain. I don't know where this goes. It's sort of deep inside the engine bay somewhere. Oh, great. How am I going to get to that? All right. This is going to take some digging. All right, we'll leave that for now. Let's just undo these two here. And these two go to the front brake. I think it's the ABS and the brake um, pad level sensor, um, wear sensor. So we'll undo these, take this off, and uh, yeah, let's do that. here. Ah, okay, some screws. I think this box has got something to do with the stability control on this stoner car and I won't be using it Unfortunately, looking at the loom, it looks like this is integrated into the main loom of the car. That's going to be a bit of a problem, because I really want to separate all that lot. Never mind. I think I'll leave that side for the moment, and I'm just going to remove all the clips and everything, and loosen this side of the loom up. Just tracing this here goes all the way down and it goes into this purple connector deep in there so just got to pull that one out So I'm going to have to separate the two looms in this bracket here. One of the looms goes to the rear of the car and the other one goes to the bulkhead. So we'll just trace this one down and it is a red and a pink connector deep in here. Hopefully you can see that, one there, one there. Same colour coding as on the other side. So we'll push those two out and I should be able to remove all the rest of the outside wiring there.
Well, I'm out of time and the battery on my camera is about to go flat and that's a four hour battery so I don't know what happened there and I've got some bacon calling me as well. So over the next week I'm going to find out what this does, find out what this does and I've got a fairly good idea what it might do and I'm going to find out what that blue and grey cable in the wire loop actually does. So tune in next time to another episode of Project Supercar. Bye for now.